Hello and welcome to the 10th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at rows. We'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Up till now, we have just used a single row, but Bootstrap supports using multiple rows. To put it simply, everything within a single row will try and fit on one row, if it can. AKA, if the elements total no more than 12 column spaces, if it's bigger, then Bootstrap puts the elements on the next line and the next line and so forth. But by using multiple rows, you explicitly state that everything inside that row is on another line or lines compared to other rows. So let's put this into effect within our code. So let's go ahead and open up index.html. And all we're going to do is if we just go here, it's going to copy and paste this row. That's all the HTML we're going to do and we're just going to add some CSS and the only CSS we're going to do is dot row we're just going to be affecting the row and all we're going to do is margin dash bottom 200 pixels it's just so you can see that the two rows are separate visually so let's just save this open up our web browser run it and as you can see, we have basically our two rows. And if we resize, as you can see, they are adjusting according to the classes that have been applied to them. And as, because it was just a duplicate, they will both behave the same. But they don't overlap, as in they don't connect together, they don't do anything like that. They are totally separate. And when you go on to here, you've obviously got that margin dash bottom that we talked about and we implemented. And we have the bottom row and the top row. If we go back to the maximum screen size, as you can see, there are they did not space for basically two of these boxes, but they don't appear here as we use two separate rows. So in the first row, we have these six boxes, and they will try and fit on one line, but as they can't, they adjust to another line. And that's the same thing with this one. They won't say, okay, these two boxes can technically fit in here, so we'll put them in there. If you wanted that sort of a result, you would just use one row with several boxes that's all there is to to do with rows as a little task mess around with rows within rows and see what you can do also combine some CSS to go a step further because when you're developing websites you're gonna want to use the CSS as well just to position it style it and make it look a little better the next tutorial will cover drop downs if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at seminarsystems.co.uk Sorry about that, I totally forgot what I was doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. Email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, just directly message us via YouTube, or the required link for source code that you need will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day, great weekend, and well, just great. Bye.